here, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is all about newborn must-haves. So I am a soon-to-be mom of three, so I've done this a few times, but I wanted to focus this video on either specific brands or specific items that you might not think of. So especially if you're a first time mom, I'm hoping this video will be really helpful for you. And it's already been very helpful for me <laughs> as I'm starting to gather everything because we're getting closer and closer to the big due date. So very exciting. If you're new here, by the way, welcome. My name is Marion. I make videos about being a mom and being a Jewish mom and I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. So don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more of my videos and give this one a big thumbs up to let me know that you like it. Okay, so I have to start off this video with one of my absolute favorite products, especially for newborns, but then for your whole childhood long, <laughs> and that is a good sound machine. A lot of people recommend the Hatch, which I like, and there's certain aspects of it that are really good, but I wanna recommend this one. It's called the Dream Egg. It's um, on Amazon. I believe it's about $30. What I love about it is it's not very expensive and once you turn it on it'll just stay on the whole night it also has a button for a little night light um it plays i think a few different sounds i only use the white noise one and then of course different volume things like that and you can set it on a timer if you want but a good sound machine is absolutely one of the best things for helping a newborn baby calm down and sleep it's such an essential item <laughs> if you don't have one if you're like in a pinch right now you have a little newborn you're waiting for it to come go stand under the fan in your bathroom or next to your washer or dryer and just let that white noise calm them because inside your belly in the womb the water washing around them makes a huge like whoosh noise so that's what they've been hearing the whole time in the womb of course i can neither confirm or deny this because i <laughs> no newborn has ever said so but that's what i've heard from doctors so i think that's really cool and definitely recommend a sound machine okay i had to get up to get this one this is my absolute favorite thing for getting babies to calm down and that is an exercise ball so you maybe have used one while you're pregnant they're really helpful as you approach labor really good for your body but these are really really good for helping a baby calm down all you do is sit on it i'm going to be out of the frame but basically you just sit on it <laughs> hold your baby and bounce them <laughs> and that motion is really good for helping a baby calm down because it's a really big swaying motion. You don't get the same effect from a rocking chair or just standing and rocking the baby. So when they're really upset, an exercise ball is key. Okay, let's talk about keeping baby calm and happy to begin with so they don't get so upset that you need an exercise ball and a sewing machine. And for that, I really recommend a good baby carrier. If you're watching my videos for a while and you've seen me make videos when I had newborns, they're constantly in the videos and I'm always just wearing them because I wear my babies all the time. That is like one of my biggest motherhood tips. Babies don't like being in contraptions. <laughs> they don't wanna be put down in um, swings and rockers and all these really expensive things. They wanna just be close to your body. And I have found that if you want your baby to just be calm and relaxed and happy and go with the flow while you go about doing things like cleaning the house or maybe putting on a load of laundry or whatever it is you need to get done, um, putting your baby in the baby carrier is just the best thing for them and for you. It's also one of those like ancient human things like to be close to mom. So it's like we've known this for all time, but then we go out and make these like really expensive contraptions and swings and things for the baby and they don't like them anyways. <laughs> I can talk about swings for a while, but anyways. What I really do want to talk about is baby carriers. This is the Ergo Baby Omni Breeze. This is their new one. I had my Ergo Baby Carrier since my first son was born. We used it almost every single day for both my boys. Um, and this one is really exciting because you don't need an infant 
infant insert you can use it straight from birth so i had a ring sling it's called for when my younger boys were infants because they weren't big enough for their ergo and then i sort of switched them as they got um, a few weeks older but this one is really great because you can use it right from the beginning and it's got this new breathable technology fabric so they don't get too hot in it and this is my favorite thing of all as someone who's owned an ergo baby carrier for many years they put a little pocket pouch on it finally i used to carry i used to put my fanny pack underneath mine and i was like why does this thing not come with a pouch now it does so thank you ergo baby for making that update and this one also has a um like rain cover sun cover that you can put over the baby which is another new technology i didn't have in my old one so i'm so excited about this full transparency this was gifted to me but 100 percent i would have had to buy it anyway so i was very thankful that Arco baby let me have it to show it to you guys because it was on my list like i said we used our other ones for over five years with two boys almost every day so it was time for another one just aesthetically they last like forever um but i was really excited to try out the new omni breeze so yes and what's also great about ergo baby carriers is unlike some other ones they are specifically designed for the ergonomics of your baby's body and your body to put them in the exact correct position for safety and for growth some baby carriers have their hips and like butt a certain way that's not good for them um and also can be painful for you if you're carrying a baby for a long time ergo baby carriers are the absolute best in terms of comfort for mom and baby okay let's jump into like bathing and care skincare all that kind of stuff so you probably know you need a newborn tub i really want to recommend the fester price one i don't have the actual tub with me because i couldn't get it down from the shelf but <laughs> this is the infant insert and it's nice because it's really soft it's just a netting like you can see um so it's very inexpensive i'll link this exact one below we've had it since my first son was born and as you can see it's in great shape and it's one of the few that come with this soft infant insert netting so i really recommend it then sticking with bath i recommend a good water temperature thermometer especially if you're a first time mom and you're nervous about the water being too hot or too cold um, this is really handy to have this is also great by the way when you're pregnant because there's a certain limit of bath temperature that you're supposed to be in so i have anyways from pregnancy um, but it's really useful and as your kids get older um, and you're not sure about bath temperatures this is good too i think this was definitely less than $10 on Amazon. Okay, then in terms of products for skin and baby care, I love the Bebo Botanicals ones. They are slightly more expensive, but they are like, uh, there's a hundred, there's a hundred check marks here. Dermatologist tested, allergy tested, hypoallergenic, vegan, no icky chemicals, paraben and phthalate free, dairy and soy free, gluten free, you know what i mean it's it's one of those kind of products we've been using this again for five years i have tried out all different kind of baby products and honest ones and all different brands but these have absolutely been my favorite i often steal the moisturizing lotion from the kids and um we've kept on using them as the kids have grown because they're just really nice okay then diaper rash cream is absolutely essential for a newborn baby if the baby is um how do i put this if the diaper rash is okay like if we're in the okay zone i really recommend just having aquaphor on hand um it's one of those ones which again doesn't have like too many yucky chemicals in it and a really good skin protectant especially like if you have reoccurring diaper rash you just want something on there every day for the extremes i actually don't have it anymore because my kids like aren't in that kind of diaper situation anymore i love the boudreaux diaper rash cream i will link it below as well for extreme situations painful ones definitely do use that okay then let's talk health one of the most essential things you need whoops for a newborn is a thermometer that goes in the tush that goes in their butt because that is the only way to get an actual accurate temperature and the reason that that's so essential is if your newborn baby has a fever of over 100.4 they need to um, go to the hospital. <laughs> this is really important. Check your baby books, check the internet, make sure you know the temperature that their fever can be at because fevers in infants, especially like less than a few weeks old, is really, really dangerous. So you wanna be sure that they don't have a fever and the best way to test that is 
put this in them. As they get a little bit older, I love the Braun thermometer. This is an in-ear one and it takes only three seconds to use. This is a great one. The forehead ones and the ones that don't touch, like they're fine for school drop-offs these days. But for an actual accurate temperature when you're like, do I need to call the pediatrician or not? I would definitely use this. And for infant infants, just a simple one like this. The other thing I always recommend to new moms because you might not think of it is to get children's Tylenol on hand for when those first fevers do pop up, you have something. It's, you do not wanna be <laughs> running out to Target or whatnot at midnight because you realize you have a baby who has a fever for the first time. Okay, then my last little list is of things that are more of the like insider tips and um, from a mom who's been there before to you, let me just kind of recommend some favorite things for newborn. One is onesies that have zippers. If you guys have seen any of my baby videos, you've heard me talk about how much I detest the <laughs> snap closures. I just like the zipper ones. If you have the ones that have the double zip, so they zip up or down, those are awesome for changing diapers, especially at night. But whatever you do, zippers rock. <laughs> Another little tip is to get a ton of baby socks. They're so tiny, they disappear in the laundry. But what I like using them for is um, everything. I use them on their hands as mittens, as well as on their feet, just like, I just always have extra pair of baby socks around because they kick them off, they pull them off, like it's such a toy for them when they're little. Um, but nice warm fuzzy socks are great. You actually don't wanna be putting your baby in any type of shoe until they're a strong walker for the development of their feet. So um, when they're newborns, obviously, you don't have to worry about having the sticky stuff at the bottom, but just finding a good pair of socks that you like will go a long way. Okay, and this is a bit of a controversial one, but I love my boppy pillow. Again, I've had this over five years now. I remember when I first saw a lactation consultant and I had this, she was like, you don't need that. <laughs> She's like, the best pillow was provided by mother nature. It's right here. That's why the belly doesn't shrink down immediately. It's so helpful for holding your little one to nurse them. But I do love the boppy. Um, I think it's a really great nursing pillow. You can definitely just use a regular pillow. You can definitely just use your arms. And there are I would say there's like a good stage when the boppy's really useful. After a certain number of months, it's not. But at the beginning, trying to get that positioning right for nursing, I think a boppy can be really helpful. And last but certainly not least is the dog tot <laughs> This is the dog tot We didn't have this with my first one. I got it with my second, and I absolutely love it. This kind of goes back to my thing about not loving swings and rockers so much, although we have had swings and rockers. But what I love about the dog tot is it goes around the house with you. So if you're in a small apartment, you just need like one swing, right? Because you're in this one main area during the day. If you have a big house with lots of different rooms and maybe older kids and you're like going here and there, the dock tot is awesome because you can move it around with you. So we're sitting on the couch, I just put the dock tot right next to me, then we move into the kitchen, you know what I'm saying, it just goes around with you. So I really like it. I do not use it for sleep, like overnight sleep, unless I'm awake and right there looking at the baby. I do not use it for sleep. You can do your own research for that, but it's not intended for overnight sleep. Um, so just give that caveat, but I think it's great for daytime use. So that is it. Those are my top recommended newborn products. I am wishing you guys all the best if you have a little baby on the way or a little newborn there sitting watching this video with you. You're probably watching this at 3 a.m. <laughs> I have been there. I have been there. They will sleep. They will sleep. And wishing you all the very best. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.